Greetings, this is August 23rd at 12 noon, and I would like to revisit the Landsat photos, this time on the EO browser. Here we are looking at an overview of the Elephant Hill wildfire, and you can see plumes of smoke from the northern flank, south of Green Lake, and from Hyheum, and from Young Lake. Dispersed within are small pockets of uh, plumes and what looks like active fire, and they're really hard to notice until you actually zoom in. One of the features on the EO browser is the thermal indications, and you can get that in the layers. So we are looking at the northern flank. Uh, south of Green Lake and we'll switch over to the thermal and those highlighted portions are where the most intensity is or let's say the hottest activity is. Now we're going to zoom over to Hyheum and you can see it on uh, just at the center right of your screen there's a few smoke plumes coming out uh, there's also one a little bit further south, and that's been showing up on the infrared most recently. Now we'll go to the thermal, and you can see there's kind of a concentrated indication of heat uh, approximately 5 to 6 kilometers south of Hyheum. Now we are going to another close-up north, uh, just next to Green Lake. And we're looking at the Rayfield River and west of it. And we can see this is where a lot of that smoke is coming from. These images were taken at 7.01 p.m. on August 22nd. So they are, let's say, over 12 hours out of date. Uh, but it can give you an indication of what was occurring yesterday evening. So again, here we're looking at Green Lake and southwards, and we can see degrees of smoke around the ray field over towards Marsden, but I've zoomed into Pressy Lake here, and you can see some at the northeast end of the lake, and there's two or three outliers southeast of the lake, uh, approximately a kilometer, and they're difficult to see, but you can go to the browser and zoom right into your area of concern. Next we're going to Young Lake. This is north of Young Lake, and we can see a dozen uh, small indications of smoke plumes, um, very tiny pockets, and these are what have been showing up on the infrared. There's not as much to the northeast, however, there is a number of them to the north. And this is zooming right into Young Lake, and there's that uh, spit of land that uh, is on the southwestern corner, and we can see some smoke emitting from that area. We are looking again at High Heum and the area to the south and southeast, uh, that's Dead Man River in the lower right portion of your screen. So most of this activity has been going on approximately four to five kilometers south of Hyheum, and we see another patch about 10 to 12 uh, kilometers south in what looks like the Barricade Creek area. Now we are going to jump over and take a look at Clinton here and the chasm for friends out there, and we're not seeing any activity from fire or smoke, but we can see an overview of some of the burned areas and what's up on the hill. Now we're looking at the chasm, and I realize this is a very dark image. There are different filters you can use on the EO browser to enhance the image and get you something uh, that's more definitive as to which are burned areas and which are still forested. Uh, we're jumping over to the Big Bar Cam. It looks uh, fairly bright, some haze in the upper atmosphere and those puffy clouds. Uh, here we are at the Sheridan Cam looking west to Lone Butte, 93 Mile, and again that haze 
may be blowing up from that activity south of Green Lake. This is over at the McDonald Summit on Highway 24 and in the distance you see the Elephant Hill fire and the haze that has been uh, generated by that. And now we're back over to the Begbie Cam. Uh, lots of puffy clouds, very bright. Um, seems to be an exceptional quality cam at this location. Now I'm jumping over to Windy and looking for that 3 o'clock breeze at 15 kilometers an hour coming from the south-southwest and some potential for precipitation tomorrow at same time after lunch and also uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday uh, pretty much the same wind patterns uh, mixed and variable uh, mostly from the south and if we look again, this is now an hour later, and the wind velocity hasn't changed. It's still coming from the south-southwest at 9 kilometers an hour. So be aware that there is a expected increase in wind velocity today, this afternoon. So uh, be prepared for that, and there may be a chance for flare-ups and other increased intensity as new air rushes into the fire zone. So this is an active wildfire. Um, some notes, I'm not seeing as much northeast progression on Young Lake and uh, more to the north. Uh, we're seeing significant plumes of smoke coming over the Rayfield area uh, that's south of Green Lake and there's s small spots of smoke plumes that you can identify if you zoom into the image on the EO browser. Uh, mostly in the areas that we've been talking about, but they do exist, so we want to watch for uh, in any increased activity with this wind. So be safe, check out the alerts and the bulletins below, and check out the revised perimeter maps, and keep your nose to the breeze.